It's Joe from Extreme Terrain. In this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Barricade Brush Guard in black, fitting all 16 and newer Tacomas. Now, this is gonna be a great option for you if you're looking at off-road styling and durable stainless steel protection to the front end of your Tacoma. So what do we have going on here with the Barricade Brush Guard? First things first, let's talk about build quality. This is gonna be made completely out of stainless steel, plate stainless for these uprights here, and tubular stainless in that inch diameter for the headlight guards, this cross member at the top, and that lower one as well. It's finished in a gloss black powder coat, which albeit does match the blackout look perfectly, it's also gonna add another layer of protection over top of that stainless to help keep it safe and away from the elements. Now, of course, Barricade does have you covered if you're not a fan of the black outlook. If you're more the chrome type yourself, this is also offered in polished stainless steel. As far as protection goes in the center, we're looking at very thick rubberized uprights. And then for the headlights, we have a nice bit of grill area here along with that tubular stainless steel that is removable, which gives you the choice in ultimate protection or clean looks. It only takes a simple Allen key and 10 millimeter wrench to get that out of the way. Those rubberized uprights, they're gonna give you a great bit of utility as well. That allows you to gently push something without scratching the powder coat underneath, which I think is a nice touch. Wrapping up the features here, that cross member in the middle, it does have two holes pre-cut out, and that is for either a 20 inch light bar or some cube lights. If you were looking to take your truck to the next level in terms of lighting, that's all ready to go for you. And if not, the kit does include some rubber plugs for you to throw in there as well. Now, one thing I do wanna make a quick note of, and this isn't gonna be a specific thing with the Barricade Brush Guard, but all front end protection in general, if you have any adaptive cruise control or proximity sensors, this will interfere with that, but that's just the trade-off you make to get the ultimate in off-road protection. Pricing is gonna be right around the $500 mark, which really is not too bad, all things considered. Again, you're getting full stainless steel construction here. I think this adds a lot of presence to the front end of the truck as well. And in my opinion, definitely well worth the money. So let's move right along to the good stuff here. Let me show you how to get this installed on the front end of your truck. It's gonna be a really simple bolt-on install, no modification required. For that, I'm gonna give it a one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. At most, this should take you about an hour or two if you come with the right tools. So without any further ado, let me show you what tools you'll need and how it's done. Tools we use for this install will include a ratchet, impact, small extension, 16 millimeter wrench, six millimeter Allen key, and sockets ranging from 10 millimeters all the way up to 17 millimeters. All right, so the first thing we're gonna need to do here is get this air dam out of the way. In order to do that, we're gonna use a ratchet, small extension, and our 10 millimeter socket. It's held in by a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts. There's two behind here, all of these at the front, and two behind the splitter on the other side. And with all that out of the way, we can go ahead and remove the air dam. Now with that out of the way, you have clear access to where our mounting bracket is gonna go. Before we put that up, we do have to do a little bit of prep work. This bolt plate that comes in the kit, this is gonna have to go into this hole right here. And you can see I already have that plastic washer started. We're gonna use that in conjunction with this 17 millimeter bolt right here to hold on our bracket. Then you wanna make sure you grab the right one. This one is marked with a D for driver's side. That's gonna go around that bolt plate we just installed. And then thread up through the bottom with that bolt we just removed as well. And that stud on top, you can go ahead and get a flat washer. A lock washer. And then one of the 16 millimeter nuts included in the kit. We're gonna go over to the other side and repeat the same exact process. So 
So again, all we're gonna do is install our bolt plate, loosen up and reinstall that 17 millimeter bolt at the bottom, and then tighten this down with the 16 millimeter nut included in the kit. Now up next, we're gonna work on our upper mounting brackets. Now, eagle-eyed viewers out there might notice that we're missing something off the front of our truck. We removed the grill just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see. You don't have to do that during this install, but we wanna show you exactly how it's done and get the best shots possible, so we popped it off really quick. In order to get this bracket installed, the first thing we're gonna need is another one of these bolt plates right here. We're gonna drop that in the cross member right below the radiator. So that is gonna go right over here. And right there, you'll find a hole, and that is gonna poke through just like so. So now we can take the flat side of our passenger side mounting bracket, that's gonna slide through the lower grill like so, and then behind that hose right there, and that is gonna go up on that bolt we just installed like that, and then we could reach from underneath and secure that with the flat washer, lock washer, and 16 millimeter nut. Now the driver's side is a little bit more cramped, but definitely doable. And then again, we're gonna feed our bracket through the lower grill, up around that bolt, and secure with the hardware. So now all of our brackets are set to install our brush guard. All we're gonna do is tilt this thing forward. Just gonna get one bolt started here on the bottom, on both sides, and then we can rock it all the way up. And now we're just gonna throw the rest of our hardware in on the bottom bracket, and we can adjust and tighten everything down. And we're gonna tighten down the bottom bracket using a 16 millimeter socket and wrench. And the top bracket is going to get a six millimeter Allen key and a 60 millimeter socket. That's gonna do it for my review and install of the Barricade Brush Guard in black, fitting all 16 and newer Tacomas. Thank you for watching. Keep it right here at Extreme Terrain for all things Tacoma.